Welcome to my rustic waters base. <laughs> um, what is it going to be used for? Good question, Dark Wing. I do not know what that wing is going to be used for 100%. Um, the wing I'm talking about is this one over here where we started our um, RF using and producing machines. So there are more floors up there. I don't have way up there yet, but um, yeah. So that is the wing I wanted to work on. I didn't know if I wanted it to look anything like this wing. Remember we did? We got all this stuff. Um, this is the full floor that's got all the embers things on it. Um, currently turned off and I've not been here so oops I don't have a chunk loader running I don't feel the need for it right now because I'm not it's just not needed um, so if we go out here We've got the magical floating purified water from that reservoir. <laughs> and then this is the one that I wanted to to do next. I might wait I might have to wait to know what I'm gonna actually put in there. The power power silos. Um Yeah, this is my current resource collection and processing wing and where I'm living, you know, doing the bulk of my stuff here. Um, yeah, this has got creosote in it. Probably not a lot, but it's got creosote in it. You only get the floating stuff when you've got, um, when it's full. And then I've also been working on the fa the factory, the farm area, just making it look pretty. It's not functional um, up on the surface. I see it in the journey map. So up here, I'm working on the wings. Um, this is the first one. I've started putting the glass that I've been getting from reskinning the uh, thing based down below. Um, these are the just there's vanilla planted crops at the moment, so I haven't done any agricraft. The openings here are going to have prismarine. Um, it's going to have the dark prismarine, I think, or maybe it'll be the regular. The cracked bricks are pretty, but it might just be regular in the openings here and here. So, and then we're going to have the external circle around the whole thing going around here. And that'll be our larger mass producing crops in order to get the money that you can get. And this will be our, where we do the compacting of crops and Lord knows what else here um, in this area. Yeah. It's really all I've done up here is placing blocks, um, making it look pretty. So maybe we should work on the power silos. We wanted to do one that was these immersive engineering um, thermoelectric generators do a column of them and put the power cable in the middle uh and the other one we were going to do the embers the ember rf generator hello toslo that thing right here Whoop. this we we built it last time it's not connected to anything because we were going to make a type a a power silo and I hadn't figured out where the power silo was gonna go but it needs the purified water that we have the reservoir right out here so it needs purified water but it also needs ember from this guy 
So we need to have the embers shoot out that way. I did not test to see if it's just fine going through water. That is something that will be need to be tested. I don't even know if it goes through blocks okay. I don't know. Um, yeah, because we need to start processing these things that we need to make a purify a pulverizer. So we can process these things. That's what we're getting on our ember bore. Um, yeah, that's where we are with things. I really haven't done a whole lot because we need to do those silos. But what what blocks? I don't want them to look exactly like the builds. I would like to. Uh, I want to kind of make this look like it's been almost cobbled together, built in different phases. I want my factory to look like it's been built in different phases. <laughs> um, so let's look at chisel, chisel, and just kind of look at the blocks that I might want to use for silo. Hmm. You know, to be honest, diorite, that could be interesting. Um, they'd be kind of a dirty white color. Um, we need to figure out another block as a... Do the dirty white and like a factory block. And I'm also thinking, because diorite, I can get a bunch of... I even might have some in here. I have a little bit. But in the dungeon, we can collect diorite. I know we can make it the old vanilla way. Um, is there any other way? Apparently, you somehow can make it with lava and water in an igneous extruder. So it might be just smarter to go and collect. You just or excavated your whole room. <laughs> I am so sorry to hear that. That's an empty wooden crate. All right, so I have done that. I have. Mm-hmm. Thank you for, you know, complimenting. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of factory blocks, but because Rustic Waters is meant to be steam plot, steampunky themed and all of, like, this is a regular furnace, all of the machines have been given different textures to kind of go along with that idea. I wanted, um, I wanted it to have, see, like, this is... This is an energetic infuser from Thermal Expansion, but it's been retextured. Uh, you like Tyrion? There's some Tyrion blocks in here. Because um, this is my build palette. But I do have... Yeah, I do have some Tyrion. Ooh! All right, so let us get a um, empty crate and a sea moth. Um, go collect us some diorite because it's faster to collect it than it is to make it. And maybe, no, I'm going the wrong way to encounter the rat. I was like, maybe we'll encounter the rat, but this is the one that we've already conquered, so.
See all this diorite? I want to collect the stuff that's um, in the floors first though before I go tearing down all of the walls. So, um, did I happen to bring a hammer? I have a hammer. This could go a little faster maybe. Are you exposed to water? You are. You're drippy. Alright. Gonna have to deal with lava so hopefully we won't get too hot. Ooh, look, diamonds. Wait, there are slanted scaffolds in game? Wait, what? Is that what they're called? Because I'm only seeing slabs and stairs. It's the stair pattern upside down. Because I was looking for something to make things look a bit rounder. Um, is it a part of open blocks? The other scaffolding block was immersive engineering, I think. There's no block craftery in this pack. I kind of whined to the mod pack uh, maker <laughs> already about the lack of decoration blocks for builders. And he said, I didn't make a pack for builders. I made a pack for people interested in progression. <laughs> and yeah, so that's why that stuff's missing. drippy so I'd have to get that last. This guy's almost broken. There it is. How are we doing? Five stacks? Woohoo. Just about happy with the amount I have to at least make one silo. 
Um, if diorite is the main block, we do need to come up with a secondary block. We can choose to use a Tyrian style or a factory block. Don't have a ton of metal. Um, kind of choose the right kind of block. I've been down here mining blocks every so often because I've been using them in the surface farm as well. Okay. How are we doing? We have uh, power. Let's grab these diamonds while we're here. Yes, definitely terracotta. Ooh. Um, I've been using cyan terracotta. That's what's with the, the um, factory blocks mixed in with them. Um, do we want to do a color? Oh, there's a slime. Slime. Get out of here. I'm happy with what I've got right now. Up, up, and out we go. There we go. So, yeah, terracotta is a good idea. I could do basic terracotta and have a different colors. Or different textures, not colors. But we could let's see the diorite when I choose a different texture, the colored terracotta could be the smooth variant. Um The trodden bricks is nice and dirty and muddy and schmutchy and these would have too much of a lime color to them. Let's see here. This disordered tiles look sort of like larger plates. Um, look up structural... Oh! Yeah, see, but the challenge with these is that I can't change what they look like. Hmm. Okay. I thought I had another uh, drawer or a crate. I thought another crate with building supplies in it. And I'm not seeing it anywhere. Um, how are we doing here? Still the one. Okay. 
Just looking around, because maybe I put it somewhere and... You tried making facades, it didn't work, you can't hide conduits. Um, yes you can in the newest version. One of the patch notes says that he added conduit facades to a merchant. So when you upgrade to 1.1.9, I believe is the newest one that went out today. Yeah, you can get them from a merchant. Because I thought this one that's empty, I thought it had building blocks in it. But, I mean, that's okay. Factory. There's a couple of things in here for factory blocks. Tyrion. Um, terracotta. Mm. To be honest, this plain terracotta, if we did it in, oops, the, do 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 do, no, even the Celtic might be interesting. The one with the connected texture, what does that look like as a column? Yeah. All right, and then if we did, um, I'm thinking those. I need to eat something. My hunger bar is ticking. Let's take out all of the factory blocks and let's see. Oh, the ones that look like batteries could be interesting. Exhaust plating, engineer's pipes, the grates. Ones that look like scaf rusty scaffolding. That. 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 There we go. We have our color palette. I'm happy with that. Where do I need for food? Fruit. And vegetable. Do I have fruit on me? Let's put the sea moth away. Yeah. All right, and I want to build my power silos in such a way that I can expand them upward, but not, I want, so I'm gonna need to figure out, they're gonna be probably at this level. You can even have them attached to this. Ooh, it's eight o'clock. All right. I will we'll continue figuring out where to put the power silos in just a moment. I need to go feed the cats. I'll be right back. Let's go back to looking down here to see where we want to put these. Um, they're going to be for RF gen. This is going to be the wing that we're going to need to put some RF in. But we need access to the embers that comes out of here and the purified water that will be here. And this tank can get taller, I just, it doesn't need to, but it can. So my thought is to have, hmm, to have the power silo here somewhere that needs the RF, sorry, that needs the ember. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I've had people already question my choice of being Winry when I love magic mods more than, uh, oh, let's reveal this. This might be cool.
I like magic mods more than tech, and I've never played with um, equivalent exchange mods. So, <laughs> yeah. Edward and I, Edward is my husband, we just wanted to have something where in Minecraft our avatars were a couple. And we love anime, especially Full Metal Alchemist. It is the bomb. Uh, all right, so power silo. Probably, I think what we're gonna do, I'm trying to decide if I wanna connect it or if I want it in the, just in the middle here. And what blocks? Are going to be the base. Um, let's see here. So, my thought process is. If we do a silo that has a, a nine by nine interior, that would be five on the sides with two diagonals. So if we need these two, the diagonal ones here and here, then the straight ones that are whoop, that are five would go there and there. We need to figure out what, um, so we're doing the terracotta, doing the disordered tiles for the diorite, and what was the other one? It was the scaffold, rusty scaffold. Okay, so if we did... Let's see, we'll do the rusty scaffold here and here. Um, I really need some more garbage blocks. Okay, with the terracotta columns here, for example. And then this would be Die right, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That would look interesting. Let's go to you. I need to go breathe. I do that we're gonna get some more do I have cobble in here I do get some more cobble and we'll do the conversion for all of these into the scaffolding and we might as well which one was it, it was disordered tiles I think what I might do is a couple of dent. Okay. We've been in enough. Have we refilled our tank? Looks like it. All right. So over here, we want to do. Woohoo! Alright. 
There's our silo shape. Now, what I've been doing with the other ones is adding a lower section with like vents or fans. Let me show you. Like this one has vents on the bottom, like that. And then it actually has fans on the top. Or vents, and, okay, it's the other way around. Vents on the top and fans on the bottom. <laughs> anyway. And I think it'd be nice to have some glass so you can see in these, sort of. Oops. So the underside, we could definitely do a Tyrian version to put the floor in. Um, Cause, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's make some Tyrian blocks. Got 32. What's the recipe for these again? All right, I probably need stone. And looking at these, I think I'd be happiest with either the shiny plates or this dent. The platform might be nice. I don't want these dark ones. some point I'm going to make a builder's uh, gadget. I need to do that. It's one of the quests. Um, yeah. At some point. <laughs> and hopefully I'm not making this too big. So far, so good. All right, what I'm gonna do is that, that, window glass, and we're gonna do how tall? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, Edward just reported his second game score of his Bowling League night, and it's a 234. For anyone following along, his current highest game, not in a league night, it was in a practice, was 246. So 234 is awesome. Oh, I'm so proud of him. Yay! You do 
doing good while tired. Exactly. And he said it's on a turkey game. Um, around Thanksgiving, they always have a uh, set of games where they're giving away turkeys for, I think, for the highest scores or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. He's never come home with a turkey, so <laughs> he's never won a turkey. But um, it's it would be cool if he came home for with a turkey for the uh, score. Like I said, his average currently is 154, so to get a 234, that's amazing. I'm beaming. I am beaming right now. Yep, I'm going to need air here shortly. Thank you for keeping an eye on that for me. Um, let's grab some more terracotta and we'll grab the glass. Oh, did I really bring all of my glass upstairs? It's up at the farm for doing the greenhouses. Um, can I make you? I just need to smelt regular glass. Okay. We be fine. We're gonna go grab some sand. Sorry, that was probably a really weird voice. <laughs> How much sand do I have? Oh, good. I don't want to turn my hearth coil on for that. I'll forget. We'll just pop it in our furnace over here. See, I forgot I had conduit binders in here. All right. Um, I have to remember, how do you f un- I have a sponge on a stick, and I have- what else do I have? I think I have regular sponges. But I'm wondering if the sponge on a stick ever gets, like, wet so that I'm going to need to dry it. Oops. Is there, did I put glass there? It's hard. I can't see it. <laughs> Cannot see if I actually put glass there. Clearly. Have I ever used furnaces powered with the IE external heater? I have not. Dent. You're pretty much watching me do what I more am more comfortable with. Any tech stuff I'm not super comfortable with. Um, I I learn as I go. I'm comfortable with a little bit of it. 
but give me a chisel and some cool blocks and I will build you something amazing. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. I have... Let's put half of you in there and we'll do this right across here. Oh, Edward has just reported he won a turkey with that game. So I now have a turkey to cook um, for Thanksgiving or any other time. Um, I wonder how big it is. <laughs> it's just the two of us, so maybe I'll be... um. Lots of leftovers. <laughs> All right. So there's one. And what I'm going to do here is do like what I've done here. Give it a bit of an indent, give it some interest. And I'll probably use these blocks, so... Can't beat turkey sandwich leftovers. I 100% agree with you. Uh, if only I could eat... Well, you know, actually, the gluten-free bread I have is not bad. Uh, I am gluten intolerant, so... Um, gluten-free bread isn't, like, the mushy sandwich bread that you can that ha that makes awesome sandwiches <laughs> so i could do turkey melts though because doing the toast isn't that bad i need to go make some more cherry and blocks You just eat the shredded leftovers out of the bag when making the sandwich. <laughs> yeah. I I have done so. I have done that. Um You know how and I'm go I'm I don't even know if KFC still does this, but you know how KFC had those bowls that were mashed potatoes and I think corn and gravy and chicken all in one bowl. I don't know if they still do those because I can't eat anything at KFC anymore. But um, if they do, yay. If not, whatever. Um, but they did, they had something like that. And I like doing that with my Thanksgiving leftovers too. I like just throwing everything in a bowl and... Uh, I'm gonna need to make a bunch more of this. No reason not to live off of dressing and turkey sandwiches. I agree. I am with you 100%. Here's the first floor of our silo. I am not, I, this is gonna be a second floor here. We're gonna you know, I'm going to keep building it up as I need it. So for now, for now, that's as tall as it's going to be. Let's see here. It needs something. It needs... We're trying to m connect it to this, making it kind of look like it's going to be part of that at some point. I think what we need are connection points because it's right now floating. And first we're going to need to build a, a connection point to it. And I think we're going to do that from the, the first floor here. Um, right there. I want to use glass and then let's go down we are connected all the 
away. And then we need to enclose it. Wow, thank you for the bits. Thank you. We're not doing a big Thanksgiving either here in Nuggets. There's, it's not something that we're really doing. Um, yeah, it's... I had I have a turkey breast, a boneless turkey breast in the freezer. <laughs> but I'm like, eh, you yeah, know, we can we can have that and I bought some gluten-free stuffing. You know, that's just kind of the way it goes. Nothing fancy. Alright, so if we did that there and just to kind of link the two together. that. Um, we're gonna need some in there. Um, connected texture. Alright, we need to eat. Let's eat some soggy fish in the middle of the water. Do -do -do. Um, so now we should be able to break through, get ourselves a sponge, and dry out that inner area. And if we break through, it's right, right where our ladder is, of course! Why wouldn't it be? Okay, so it's not right there. It's directly behind this guy. Is there anything in there? Yes, let's take all you out. Yep, there's the entrance. Okay, so let's get our spun. Oops, spell things correctly. <laughs> oh, well, so apparently that is a hotkey. Um, controls. Potions. Done. Done. Back. All right. Sponge. This guy. Um, let's go take this out. Go in here. Why am I on fire? And it used it up. That doesn't feel like it should have done that. Oops. All right, so here's our space. Let's try to kind of make this look appropriate. Um, you there. And we could take these out. Why did my phone make noises? Just a second. There's nothing here. There's... I don't understand, Mr. Phone. Anyway. Um... We'll have to make that look nicer. The ladder's fine right there. Not worried about that.
You made the table that used a hammer to crush stuff. The Magna Craft crushing table? To get more blaze powder per rod, and every time you hit it, you caught fire. See, that makes sense, though, because you're crushing a blaze rod. <laughs> to me, that makes sense. Using a sponge on a stick does not make sense why I caught fire. Not at all. Okay. We are going to need to reset up the alloy kiln. Let's take down our uh, block pallet since we know what it is now that we've built it. Our first initial thing. Um, alloy kiln. So, and I'll move this. This has just got leaves in it, and that's a tank from when I was doing destabilized redstone right there. F7. Okay. This is the silo that we're going to do embers to RF in. So we need number one, a crystal cell in the top. Hmm. We also need to test whether or not embers will go through water. And hmm. that means this one does not need to be very tall. The one that I want to do for the thermoelectric generator towers can be as tall as I want them to be. So I should probably go out and decide is this how tall I want it or if I want something up there. I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards a smaller um, thing, a smaller thing, a smaller bit up here because I want another one of these, another uh, crystal cell on top where we're going to send power from the pressure refinery over to that so it'll have another battery storage this is our battery storage for this stuff right here um if i did that i could just have a little like i'm not quite sure dome but a, probably a dome <laughs> A curved area where with the crystal cell on top. Um, trying to think of what that would look like. We would do We need more of that. We're going to do another one of these, have it come out, give it that texture that I was mentioning. The variations look good. The variations look real good. Like that. Um, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Try it again. There we go. So we do that all the way around. And then the next part could be indented.
so that's the start of trying to reshape it in. Yes, I like the way that looks. Mm -hmm. We just need to make it ultimately a 3x3 three three at the top. And once we have a 3x3 three three at the top, we will be good to go with putting the crystal cell there. Yeah. Alright. We need to get some more factory blocks, I think. Sounds like Hermes complaining that Loki is not playing with him. Getting whiny. Sixty seconds. Do we have enough time? Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Did that really remove the water from all of this area? That's a problem. <laughs> um, yeah, not, not good. I don't think it's going to auto-fill it back up. Because I don't think it's going to self-populate. That's a bad, bad... That's going to take me forever to fix this, because I don't want... Look at all this... My bubble curtains are broken, and... Dang it. Okay, so at least I can get in and out, and I just need to fix all that water. Dang it. <sighs> Okay, so we need to fix the water here because you can see it's flowing. I don't know how to do that. Let's see if we at least fix our air our um, elevators. Really don't want. Oops. Really don't want these guys spawning. I mean, that's why they were put in the water to begin with. Um. So, is there any way to fix this so that I don't have to place 50 billion water spots? 
because it's not looking like it's going to populate. Look at them all. <laughs> They're like, hello. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so how much over here is missing water? This all looks okay. Are you missing water here? Why am I not able to pick up any water here? Uh... So much fixing to do. <laughs> There's I can't pick up any water here, which tells me it's not source blocks. Are you kidding me? All of this here, it's pushing me down, which tells me what? It's all flowing water. You think there's an item that turns flowing water to a source, a trader sells it, you think. Well, if only we knew what it was and if I could afford it. <sighs> hmm. Never using that block again. That stick. Sponge on a stick completely ruined things and I'm gonna have to come back through here and really fix because yeah if I swim here it's gonna pull me down which means that it's not source blocks right here is not a source block Meh. Let's figure out what block it is. Let's type in water and see if we can find anything. Doesn't look like water is the way to go. A wand? From cyclic. the blue on the last row. Antimatter evaporator. It vaporizes nearby liquid. Don't think that's what I want. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think other than manually fixing it. I don't know what to do. I'm probably going to have to manually fix it. There, a water spreader. Replace nearby flowing water with source water. Sorry, I know I clicked the screen just a second. There we go. Ha. Yes, I cheated. It's because this broke something that um, should not have been broken. And um, I do not know how many of these I'm going to have to click on to fix everything. Because it looks like it only does one at a time. Um. Oh, hey, they're all underwater. Okay, and they're now all drowning. drowning. Yay. Alright. Clicking it a bunch to make sure it's fixed everywhere. Everything look correct now? I think everything looks correct. Yeah, it wouldn't have come out this way. And my moon pool or whatever has been refilled. Everything... nope. Here. Oh, I didn't think about the other side of this. It's pulled down, I'll click it. I think we're good. Oh, are we good? Is that good? Do we think we've got them all? Fills lakes and rivers out very quickly. That's thankfully what we needed, isn't it? <laughs> yep, disaster averted. Yay! Okay, let's go. That's flowing water. Why are you flowing? There we go. Okay. I don't. I don't think I have a trash can placed anywhere. I'll just have to toss it. Do magma blocks destroy things? No. 
that's right, because you can use them for mob farms. So that would make sense why it doesn't. Alright, so it's going downward. Blowing away. Okay, let's um turn this back. So now we're back to recipe mode. One more step. I need to go back into the support channel and deop myself. Did that work? Maybe it's not deop. Uh, I don't know. No big deal. It'll reset when this when the server restarts. So. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> Back out there, we need to go for making the rest of the area, though. This, we need to shrink it a little smaller. Let's use the dent this time. And you here. Don't leave your sponges on the wall, I guess, is the lesson. They'll keep picking up oh, water. And then we'll use this here and here. We're getting there. It's a little bit smaller, and I think we need to make some more of. Oh, I was gonna say, where did I get that from? That's from breaking a hole in the area. So we've got some. Now, the crystal cell is... Woo! Now the crystal cell will go right there. And... To place it, we're gonna need to put a block there so it'll place on that. Is that the right height? Yes. So fill this in, it'll be flush with that, and then it'll have the little crystal floating above it like that. And underneath is where we'll need to actually access it. So somewhere in here, we probably need to put a relay, an embers relay. We'll first need to find out whether or not um, embers, if we can peek in there. Does it go through here? Yes, if embers will go through glass, it would come through this spot right there. And if it can go through water, then it'll go in through here somewhere. 
to go into the cell. That's our, that's a test. Big test. The crystal cell is not super easy to make. So, do I have time? I don't think so. I've only got a couple of minutes before I need to go. Um, a crystal. Fingers on the right spot, spell crystal cell. Need some dawn stone. That's the step that takes a bit. So, we need 11 dawn stone. Do we have any? We have one. So, we need gold. Let's just make a bunch, shall we? Um. Copper. This will give us 16. Bar stamp. Copper. Gold. This is very non-steampunky part of the pack, isn't it? It's very magical. Oh, you haven't? It's a pretty awesome mod. I've played I've played this numerous times when it very, very first was being made and it was very incomplete. I played with it in a magic pack and then I played with it again in another pack up until um, the part of embers that you do alchemizing. I haven't do done alchemizing in a while and then in Exoria I did some more embers with this exact with this amount of setup plus some alchemizing um but I haven't done any of the Dawnstone Anvil and the forge stuff is new to me I've not done any of the forging um yeah there's there's a lot of cool stuff Ouch. Um, Edward's final score of the night is a 130. After a 234 for his last, his game before this, poof. Yeah, he definitely wants to probably do some more practice. He won't be happy with the 130 at all. Not not one bit. All right. So, can we do plates over here or should I have switched to the plate stamp? Let's find out. Woo! <laughs> uh, you think you always avoid it because of the golem spitting fire. Well, you know, the golem spitting fire is a good reason to try and avoid it. 
I am really hot right now. Let's get in the water a little bit. It's standing in that room with the ember, I'm pretty sure. Let's go cool off. Unbelievably, it's up with the room with all the ember. I have this. Which will make me cold very fast. <laughs> I was standing next to the thing, so that's probably why I got so hot. There we go. Much better. Alright, let's see here. I need crystals, which are probably tucked in here. Yeah, I need two of those. And... Um, ooh, copper blocks. One, two, I need to make a dawn stone block. Now we should be able to make a crystal cell. What am I missing? I don't know. Uh, nothing. I wasn't missing anything. I do need to make a an accessor. A machine accessor for this. Um, but let's at least place it. Ooh. There's another crystal cell. Did we want to have it up one more? Why did I do that? Go, go, Rocket Squid! That looks pretty cool. Yep, that looks pretty cool. Alright, so the challenge now is one, we'll need to take the water out of here. Two, this is the only access port for the entire machine, which is why you need a me mechanical core on here to have more than one input. So we're going to want to be able to input ember and take ember out. And so that's why you need mechanical core in here. And so we'll probably put a relay right here and have it relay in to the mechanical core. And then the mechanical core will have an emitter pointing downward to where we have our generator. And then we could probably do a battery bank under the generator So that's my thought process with that. So, yeah. But anyway, that is going to be it for me tonight. We kind of did a mishmash of things. Uh, if you are not already following me, please go ahead and do so. If you're interested in catching me when I go live again, I play modded Minecraft almost exclusively. So if you enjoy that, um, I will be back streaming again maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow's my maybe stream day. Definitely Saturday morning. Saturday morning we'll be doing some, probably some more Enigmatica 2 unless I keep crashing. Then we'll just play C Block till the cows come home, right? But anyway, have a great rest of your Wednesday evening. Take care, folks. Have a great one. Bye!